Check your tickets. The winner of our next uh, Bahama Buck gift card is the holder of ticket 019. All right, let's get back to business here. Okay, everybody say hi to Anna Gents. Hey, you. Anna Gents, everybody. Um, Anna has a unique history with this program in that she was the first guest to ever be on this show. Yes, yeah, right, back on March 10th. Anna, what's your title with MSU Wellness Center? What do you do there? I am the director of the group exercise program. And what does that mean? I make out the schedule for all of the classes, the group fitness classes, and I direct the program. And you appear to be no stranger to the gymnasium. <laughs> the gymnasium. The gym I'm sorry, is there a hipper name I'm not using yet? No. <laughs> the gymnasium. Well, you had uh, an, uh, your own sort of fitness journey. You lost a lot of weight after uh, one of your pregnancies and sort of got you on this track you're on now, right? You lost 50 yes. something pounds? 53 pounds. Yes! That's pretty amazing. And that and was weight that I gained after the baby. I'm, huh, got pretty chunky. You had a post baby baby. Uh, yeah. Is that a just be Justin Bieber song? Post baby. post baby baby. Thank you, somebody left. My, my audience is too old. <laughs> Okay, here's my situation. Um, you know, I'm pushing 48. I'll be 48 in two weeks. I, I said, you know what? And I've been on the whole diet roller coaster. I've been up and down. I've been fit. I've been not fit. I've, I've uh, you know, I've run. I used to be a runner. You know, I've done all this stuff. I've, and then as, as I got a little older, I could get motivated by like a goal. Like I want to run a 10K. I want to ride in the hotter than hell. I don't give a shit about that anymore. And there's, it, it, I don't care if, if, I, if my children were tied to a railroad track as the other in a 10K, I'd be like, you know, they're resourceful. <laughs> my fitness goal is, is to be alive at age 50. That's, that's, so I'm setting the bar, like, that's what I want. And I, I don't want to do huge things. I just want to flatten out this, this uh, decline that I'm involved in. I'd like to get back into a couple of sizes of clothes that are nice into my closet that I don't wear anymore. But I have, I'm not in a hurry and I know I can't commit to some big thing. So if there's something on that piece of paper that's like crazy ambitious, understand right now today, ain't gonna happen. Nothing crazy. How do you take my goals and apply it to your skill? Well, your goals are basically... <laughs> Perfect. No. You don't, number one, don't want to go to a gym. I do not. Which is fine, you can do stuff from home. So the things I'm going to tell you to do, you have to do at home. You have to be committed to it. Okay. And you have to make some changes, like dietary okay. maybe changes. Let's talk diet first. Okay. Any diet plan that says no beer, what did I say earlier? Not gonna it's not gonna happen. What are these, what are these changes you're recommending? So, no beer. <laughs> Alcohol's a big thing. If it is, it's huge to me. It, if you oh wait. Want, no, if you want to If lose beer were tied to a railroad track, I would run 10K to say beer. Okay. If you want to lose weight, say if you drink it every night. I do not. Okay. How many times a week do you drink it? Maybe about three times a week, just a couple of beers. Here, okay. okay. Actually, then that's good. It's that's important to know what. Yeah, what, what, what I do is... You're not slamming them back every night. It's no, I don't. Like a bottle of wine every and night. And actually, I think the worst thing I do beer-wise isn't the one or two nights a week where I drink beer. It's when I'll have a beer, a beer with dinner and then have a second beer with dinner. And, that's, and, that, and it doesn't usually, it's very rel rarely leads to the third, fourth, fifth. I, I just feel like those are two pointless beers. What's the damn... Why do that? So Does it I, calms your nerves? But I don't. I just like the the taste of it. So uh, so those are two beers that I would say. You know what? If I'm not having a social night out and doing and having a you know a, a drinking night, <laughs> I know it sounds like such an addict thing to say. No, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the thing. How do I live without you? 
<laughs> as you look at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tuna. So, so uh, talking about cutting back, I already drink light beer. Okay, so go to the Michelob Ultra. So, how about we say, and this is for real, I will cut out the non-social drinking. Okay, so write that down. Oh. And what about, say, soft drinks? Do you drink soft drinks? Um, I seldom do, but I am willing to cut them out entirely. Okay, good. So, all right, so what is that, right there by itself, uh, how does that rate as far as like a dietary compromise? Is that pretty good well, stuff? Yeah, it's a good start. No, I love it, no non-drunk drinking. <laughs> I like how we're not trying to make me a better person. Now, can I drive all these nights? No, okay, all right, so, uh, and no sodas. No sodas. So a soda has what, a couple hundred calories in it? It's just crap, even diet, you don't need it. I don't drink it. I mean, oh, let's, so, let's get another thing straight. My coffee gallon. has caffeine in it, my Cokes have sugar in it, my beer has alcohol in it. And your coffee's it. fine, and caffeine's actually good because it speeds up your metabolism. Well, that was another deal breaker too, so as the long coffee as you're wasn't not going anywhere. Sugar and creamer. Okay, so, we, we've done that part. Um, here, Lady Kay, once you have that. I, I have a right. question. Yes, sir. What about like the sugar-free Red Bulls? I drink those all the time. Okay, good. Yeah. I don't drink Red Bulls. So, okay, so we, we, we've knocked out a, a several hundred calories per week right there, right? Yes. Like if I have a, two beers three nights a week that I'm now not having, that's even on the low end, 600 calories right there. Water, you need to carry a gallon jug around if you drink a gallon of water every this day. This is part of the workout, the workout no, plan too, because I can't lift eight pounds. If you can keep, <laughs> the Shit. more water you can drink, carry around the more water. you will flush out of your body. So the what less am I, water you way? drink, your body tends to hold on to it. All right, I'm carrying around water. So drink water all day long. Okay, y'all with me on this? How many calories in water? No calories. All right. That's a win. Check. Okay, so, other dietary changes. Cut out your sugar. What up? White yeah. bread. Cut out the white bread, change it to wheat. Change your pasta to whole grain. Now wait, when we say wheat... Wheat's the same way. Uh, it's, it's not the wheat like when you go to Walmart and they get the white next to the wheat. That's all the same stuff, right? Go to all the whole grain breads. Pastas. Kansas is shaking it off. Because, see, she's going to live up to my diet. This is just a pain in the ass for me. Is what <laughs> we go through the same thing. It's he hates best. wheat bread. It's yeah. Best. I mean, honestly. I mean, it's just, it's just little changes, and you okay. have to get used to some of the things. So, is there anything on Basically, the main thing, because you're, you're, you're not wanting a whole big. Yeah. Cut out your starchy carbs. Like starchy potato carbs. chips. Potato chips. Okay, so no chips. All the, the shitty carbs, you know, yes. the stuff that's good, the stuff that we like. Yeah. So the noodles. Cut that out. All right, so if, if we can, uh, let's draw a line there. No uh, non drunky beers, uh, no sodas, and no chips. Can we say that's my dietary you sacrifice? You cut those, those three things out. You cut those three things out. And that's going to cut a, th a thousand that's calories gonna minimum out of a uh, week. Okay, okay, so. And water. And more water. Drink a lot of water. All right. Exercise, our exercise. fitness plan. I told her, yeah, listen up guys, here's what I want. I told her, I said, I want my first workout of the day. I'm willing to do it almost every day of the week. I want my first workout done 20 minutes after I wake up. Because if anything I do is gonna take me past that 30 minute mark, I've got other things that are more important to do. Uh, I don't wanna get too personal. <laughs> but I will, I do wanna drink coffee at some point. I want to have a little breakfast at some point. I want to get online and check out, you know, the websites I look at in the morning. I bear, really, bear, bear, bear. No, that's after. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, I, but I have, a, I have a routine to start. We have kids to get to school. Oh, you know, with all the water you're drinking, you're going to pee like for 30 minutes, dude. So, all right. So, what's my early morning thing? I jump up. I don't even want to put on shoes. What am I doing? Um. So I would say Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hey, you wake up. And you need to stretch all of your muscles. Okay. So I'll have to go through. Let, that. Let's do that right now. Okay. What am I gonna do? So what are these what are these stretchy things? Well, you need to stretch your shoulders. So to stretch your shoulders. Oh man, you're gonna this is your hard. Arms across okay. all right. and shoulder press. Shoulder stretch. Okay. Just hold them, hold them all for right. about 
10, 15 seconds. All right. Switch. All right. So you got to stretch your shoulders. Okay. Stretch your triceps. So you can bring your arm back, press okay. it down. Right. Right. Try to stretch all your muscles. Okay. So all those right. are your triceps. All right. Press it back. All right. Bring it forward. Drop your chin. Okay. But you got to hold these. It's going to take longer than just what we're whipping right. yeah. through. And I'll write everything down. Well, we're losing this crowd, so later on. on. Um, I'll show you a bunch of different stretches. In okay, so in the morning, so just some, some stretches. How long should I allot for that? Um, I would say 10 or 15 minutes. 10 minutes of stretching, okay. And then you need to get moving, some type of cardio. Okay. And I would recommend, you said 10 minutes. Oh, you need to do that. I see. I'm gonna, nah, nah, I'm, so you need so, to get up and do some type of cardio. All right. Whether you go outside and walk, which not just go out and pick up the paper, you need to have paper. It. Puff it, walk. Okay. 15 minutes, get you a timer set it. 15 minutes, walk. Okay, so. Jog. Walk. Okay, all right, so. I can do this. 10 minutes stretching, right 10 minutes of walk, jog, running. Okay. 15. 10 minutes. 15. Okay. <laughs> we got it. 10 minutes of not running. Now, am I running barefoot? Because I really thought that was part of the stipulation. I'm not, I'm not putting on <laughs> shoes. Now, suddenly I'm, suddenly I'm Swahili and I'm running barefoot down my street. No, don't do that, because that would be bad on your feet. Okay, so I gotta put on shoes. Well, that's gonna take two minutes off the running. Maybe a shirt. <laughs> put on some boxers. <laughs> Think about the neighbors. Helicopter, helicopter. Consider the neighbors. It's like the ancient, the Olympics in ancient Greece. <laughs> okay, 20 minutes of lunch. What <laughs> lunch? Assuming I live that long. Okay, so at lunch, again, you're going to do 15. Where does that all get involved? So you, oh, you're going to do 15 more minutes of some type of cardio. 15 cardio at lunch. So so here was my, my plan. I was like, I literally, like, I'm still going to eat lunch. These, Something healthy. These, these freaks that like, oh, I'm not going to have lunch, I'm going to the gym. Why are you alive? Lunch is an awesome meal to have. Your friends go to lunch and you can hang out. Who swaps lunch for the See, gym? See, a lot of gyms, my gym, and I teach them, no, I'm not buying it in have 30 minute classes at noon. So you can go do 30 minute Yeah, and, and all you got to do is jump in the tele eat. You just jump in the teleporter and instantly you're there. And yeah, you're working out instantly. No, nah, so you're trying to sell me something I told no, you I'm not no, buying. I'm not trying to sell you. Okay, so you're gonna do another 15 minutes of cardio at lunch, and then you need to do core work. So core work is core abs, work. Is that where the ball gets involved? Abs, abs and back. The ball can be involved with all kinds of stuff. So okay, abs and back for 15 minutes. Abs. What am I doing for 15 minutes on abs and back? I'll give you a list, but you're gonna be doing like crunches, planks. For your like how many sets your am I getting in in this 15 minutes? I think you should do three sets of 20 of everything that I give you. Three times 20 times how many uh, events? It's like the decathlon. There will probably be five. Do you not understand math? You, you've given me... It'll be fast repetitions. So you'll, you'll be... <laughs> <laughs> well, if it was you doing it, no, it'd be fast it'd be repetitions. Fine. So you're saying five stations, three times, 20 reps per time. Not necessarily stations, but different types of, like, well, say, abdominal saying. exercises oh, that man. you can whip through. I would totally fight you right now if I didn't already know how that would end. What about the curls? Okay, so there's that. What am I doing after dinner? Okay, so after dinner, again, 15 minutes of some type of cardio, and then you'll do arm exercises. On oh. Wednesdays, you'll do legs. Okay, so Friday, what am I doing? So Friday would be upper body again. Upper body, shoulders. Arms and chest. After a year of this, when I'm about to turn 49, if I follow this, what do you, what, what's going to be the benefit I receive? Anytime you make a change in your diet, in your exercise, especially when you go from doing nothing at all and you add something in, you're going to notice do you think a year from now I'll be 20 pounds lighter if I commit to this? If you commit to it and you work at it and you, yeah. Put absolutely. added qualifiers, yes or no? 20, 20 pounds in a year, easy.